Okay, now we're going to be installing um, SQL. So I'll put the CD in and we're going to click on the uh, splash and it's going to start up the uh, SQL installation. All right, we're going to choose the uh, server component tool. So we're going to go ahead and um, click that. Go ahead, click on one program anyway. Do the acceptance next. It's going to try to install the native client and the support files. Click on install. Okay, we're going to hit next. All right, hit next. It's going to go through these. Success. Hit next. Here you're going to choose advanced and we're going to choose the first one which says database services. Click on the drop down and choose the second option. Entire feature will be installed on the local hard drive. Click OK. Then you scroll down to client components. Click on the drop down, choose the same thing, middle option and we're going to hit next. You choose the default instance, we're not going to mess with that, hit next. All right, here we're gonna type in the um, we're gonna type in the SQL admin ID that we created earlier in the very beginning. Remember that the SQL admin. So we're gonna click here and type in SQL A D M I N. We're gonna type in the password that we created and the domain. Gonna hit next. It's gonna try to authenticate that ID. Okay, I found it. We're gonna use Windows Native. I mean Windows authentication mode. We're gonna hit next. Um, leave all this the same. Let's not mess with that. Um, hit next. Um, we're gonna leave these two unchecked. Also, we're gonna hit next. And here, basically, you do a review. That's fine. We're gonna hit install. It's going to go through and it's going to try to do the install. Okay, so during the installation, you might see this screen. Let's go ahead and click on run um, and this will go through. Okay, so now it's complete. We're going to go ahead and uh, hit next and hit finish. Okay, so now that it's been successful, we're going to go ahead and reboot. And we're going to do the service pa service pack 3 update for SQL 2005. SCAM files that I've already staged from beforehand. And here we have the SQL server 2003, uh, uh, 2005 service pack 3. So I'm going to go ahead and double click that. Okay, so we're going to hit run. I'm going to hit next. We're going to accept the terms, we're going to hit next, leave all the defaults, hit next. We're going to leave Windows Authentication, we're going to hit next. Don't check anything, hit next. It's looking for any locked files or maybe some that come up, it's not a big deal server is going to be rebooted after this anyway so once it's done we'll hit next alright so not a big deal we're going to hit next it's going to reboot it anyway so we're going to click install and it's going to go through and do the um, update okay same thing it's going <clears> to <throat> it's going to say uh, compatibility issues, just hit run program, it's going to go through and uh, do the setup. Okay, so, so it's done, it's going to go ahead and reboot, click OK.
Okay, so here what we need to do is um, click on your um, uh, server. Basically, what we're doing is giving granting it administrator rights, um, and you can choose the double arrows right there, and you're going to click OK. It's going to go through. All right, so now it's done. We're going to go ahead and reboot it. I'm going to go ahead and install um, uh, Windows uh, Update Server. All right, here we're going to choose the full server um, installation because we don't have it uh, installed yet. So we're going to hit next. Here we're going to accept the license terms. Hit next. Here we're going to browse out and create a local directory, which I have done. You can create it anywhere, but that's fine. We're going to hit next. We're going to choose use an existing database server on this computer. And we're going to choose the default. We're going to hit next. It's going to try to connect to our um, SQL server, All right, which I found. We're going to hit next. Here, um, it says uh, uh, use an existing IAS website or create a new one. We're going to go ahead and um, create a new one because the default will be used by um, because the default is used by uh, WSUS. So we want to we want one to. Um, want SCCM to use one so we're gonna go ahead and um, alright so we're gonna click on create a new Windows Server update um, service website because the default is used by um, SCCM so we're gonna hit next all right, so it's gonna ask you um, it's ready to install. Hit next, and it's gonna go through and do the installation. Okay, so the Windows Server update service is completed. Now we're gonna hit finish. Um, now we need to apply. Um, the patch to this so I've already downloaded this um, alright when you hit finish this window will appear just hit cancel Okay, now uh, for the Windows Server Update Service, uh, Service Pack 1 that we just installed, there is an update to the Service Pack 1, which is this file right here. Um, again, um, I'll have links to all these files, so go ahead and just download download all these files beforehand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and double click it to run it. Alright, we're going to go ahead and click on Run. It shouldn't take this long, it's a very uh, small file. Okay, so it's completed successfully. Click OK. All right. I know that was a long process, but we have completed all the prerequisites. Um, there might be a few things in the pre, you know, in the checker um, pre-installation checker that we that we run later on. It may find other things which we'll take care of. But for now, these were all the prerequisites prerequisites that we um, set up.